When you see one home foreclosed on, you can wonder whose fault that was. When you see 300 homes foreclosed on in one city in one year by one bank, uh, that's starting to look like a system. Uh, and that's starting to look like a system that needs to change. And then this has just been torn down, you know. I don't, I think they foreclosed on the building and, but these things are happening a lot over here. Three years ago, after living in a house over north here for 26 years, we were foreclosed on. I was so confused because it can be a confusing thing when you're, when you're so young and, and a lot of your um, time should be focused on school, but it's not, it's focused on where we're gonna live and finding a new apartment and if we can get a new apartment, the real new information here is the impact that these foreclosures have on the schools. When you look at a vacant house like this one that should have students in it, and you look just behind this school, the tall brick building behind us is Lincoln Junior High, which was closed for lack of enrollment. What we're trying to look at is the overall community effect of the foreclosure crisis. So what happens when you displace a family out of a neighborhood? It obviously hurts that family, uh, but it also leaves that house vacant, uh, which means there are uh, not kids living in it, which means enrollment drops at the neighborhood school, uh, which means per pupil funding from the state drops. Uh, and before you know it, they're talking about closing schools.